it's Holly from Baby Gizmo. Today we're taking a look at the new Peg Perigo book pop-up stroller. Now, you know they have the book and they have the book plus. Now this is just next in line and this one is brand new for 2014. This is a full featured luxury stroller that comes with the chassis, the pop-up seat, and the foldable bassinet, the pop-up bassinet. And if you would buy the infant car seat from Peg Perigo, the Primo Viaggio separately, it would also work like that with a travel system. So let's take a look. So let's start with the seat. The seat accommodates up to 50 pounds. It's 12 inches wide with a 20 inch seat back and a measurement from the back of the seat to the top of the canopy of 22 inches. There is an adjustable padded five point harness. There is a baby bumper bar that is a swing away and fully removable baby bumper bar. And I absolutely love that it has a leather material over it. No foam on this one. Like I said, this is a luxury stroller. So they're gonna have features like a leather um, baby bumper bar and a leather handle. So, you know, it's just gonna make it a step up. So I love the fact that this is not foam covered. There is, and oh, let's talk about the leg drop here. There's a four, 13 inch leg drop, and that's from where the seat breaks all the way down here to where they place their feet. It's also adjustable, so you can put it up like that for the babies. Then there are two side pieces here, and then you can put it back down for the older kids with longer legs. There is a very deep recline on it, and it's a one handed lever. I love that. All you have to do is squeeze, and you put the seat back and it goes all the way back to there. So like I said, very deep recline. You could put a newborn right in this seat. And then to put it up, you just have to do that same thing. You squeeze that lever and it's gonna go up and that is as upright as the seat gets. It also has a reversible seat so your child can face out of the world or you can push these two buttons, lift up, swing it around, snap it in so that your child can parent face. You still have the deep recline in either position and you can fold the stroller whether the seat is parent facing or facing out. I'd like to mention that the seat is very well padded. It's a very soft material, so your baby is gonna be comfy in the seat. Now let's take a look at the basket. This is a very large basket, and what I love is that this part pops down for easier access and then just pops right back up. Really, really easy to get to. Even if you had the seat fully reclined, there'd be no problem getting into this basket, especially since that pops down like that. Um, you can also get access to the basket from the sides if you'd like. Um, so definitely you're going to be able to fit large diaper bags and a whole bunch of baby essentials. Now the wheels, these are polyurethane wheels. These are different from the EVA foams. They have ball bearings and suspension on the stroller. So this is going to give your baby a super smooth ride. These are 10 and a half inches in the back and 7 inches in the front. They are no flat wheels so you don't ever have to worry about getting a flat tire though. So really, really good wheels, which are gonna give it amazing maneuverability. The maneuverability on the book pop-up is amazing. I can whip this baby around one-handed, even with a larger child aboard. Now the front wheels, they are swivel wheels, 360 degree swivel wheels to be exact. But if you wanna take it on a little bit of mommy terrain, such as playground mulch, grass, and gravel, you're gonna to wanna to lock those straight. Now, this one has a remote lock for the front wheels. Now what does that mean? Instead of bending all the way down here and individually locking them and unlocking them, there is one dial on the side. All you have to do is turn it and that is going to lock the front wheel straight. And then when I want to swivel again, I just turn that same dial. Very, very convenient. Um, so that's just an extra step, you know, an extra luxury feature for the book pop-up. There's a one-step parking brake. All you have to do is step down on either side. That will lock the stroller into place. Lightly lift up and it will let it go free. Now let's talk canopies. The canopy on the book pop-up is one of my favorite canopies on any stroller. Why? Because it is huge. Now I know you're looking at it and you're like, that's totally not a huge canopy, Holly. But this is in a neat and tidy position. So in case you don't need a lot of canopy. But in case you want more, there is a zipper right here. You just unzip. And there is the rest of the canopy. Look at that. It is the biggest canopy pretty much I've ever seen. It not only goes to the baby bumper bar, but it goes beyond that all the way pretty much to the footrest. This is going to completely enclose your baby. Now, when the seat is reclined, of course, let's see, let's put the seat back. It's going to bring it up a little bit. But look at that, even with the seat recline, look at how big that canopy is. So they have done a really, really great job with the canopy. 
on the top. This is kind of like your peekaboo window, the air circulation vent. Um, all it is is you undo that, you slide that up. This is a complete mesh panel that's going to allow air to circulate through the stroller. It's going to be really great on a hot day when the seats recline. The air is just going to go through, but it is shaded so the sun isn't going to get in the baby's eyes. So I really, really like that. And like I said, it works as a peekaboo window. I can see what's going on in there. Really, really great canopy. If you want to close that, you can do that as well. Now the handlebar, this is an adjustable handlebar. And like I said, it's a leather handlebar. It looks beautiful. There is a gripper in the middle, a plastic one that really, really easy for maneuverability with one hand. Um, but the sides are a leather material, adjusts from 34 inches to the, from ground to handle all the way to 42 inches. So this is gonna be great for the taller parents. I wanna show you how to fold the pop-up before we get to the bassinet. It's so patiently waiting its turn over there. Um, very easy to fold it. Now you just have to, and you could do it all with one hand if you wanted, if you were holding a baby in the other. Now with the same lever to recline the seat, you're gonna push it forward so the seat goes all the way forward. You wanna put the brake on, lock the front wheels, and you want the handlebar to be out straight. All of that's gonna give it a standing fold. Now you're just gonna reach under the handlebar, grab this, squeeze, lift. Let it snap down, it locks into place and has a standing fold. Now what's great about it and what makes it the pop-up is how you unfold it. Now, lock on the side, you're just gonna unlock it, lift up your handlebar until the handle locks into place and then you're just gonna pop up the seat until it locks and there you go. Very easy to fold, very easy to unfold. Like I said, you could even do it one-handed. And like I said, you can do it with the seat facing out or the seat facing in. It doesn't either matter either way. Now I've gone ahead and removed this seat and look, when you fold down the seat like this, it's gonna make it easy to store it when you are using the bassinet. So let's talk about this bassinet. This is a beautiful bassinet and you can use it in your home freestanding because it is a hard-sided bassinet. Comes with the cover. And let me talk about this material real quick. Um, the color combinations are really, really fun and this is kind of like a dark blue, dark, black almost jean with the magenta. It comes in seven different colors, the pop-up. So I really, really think this is cute. And I love the accents. It's just really nice. Um, so it does come with this cover here that is removable. Um, also, you know what I love about this bassinet is that they didn't make the bottom of it completely flat. So if I'm at home and the baby's fussing, I can slightly rock it like that. So I really like that. It's just these small details that Peg did. Um, now, it also has a headrest that you can adjust up and down. And what that means is inside bassinet's usually flat, right? Well, there is a strap right here that if you pull that and lock it onto that peg right there, it lifts the back headrest where the baby's head goes so that it makes it slightly elevated. And there's three different positions, or if you want it just flat again, you just, Go ahead and push it down and attach this strap back here. Now the canopy, there's first of all a really good gripper handle and the canopy back here unzips just like the canopy of the toddler seat and allows, it has a big mesh window and that's going to allow air to circulate through that bassinet on a hot day. Um, I really, really like that feature and if you want to close it, all you have to do is zip it closed. Um, now, what makes it the pop-up bassinet is the fact that it folds down for easy storage because once you're done with the bassinet, you're going to need to put it somewhere. On the bottom here, there are little levers that you squeeze and slide down like that until it locks into place. And look at how much easier that is to store, much more compact, it's a flatter bassinet. Um, and then when you're ready to use it again, that's what it's called, the pop-up. You just gotta give it a shake. You wanna make sure each side is locked and your bassinet has popped up. Now, you obviously can use the bassinet on the stroller to turn it into a pram. It comes with the stroller, as a matter of fact, you just kind of snap it right onto there and you have yourself a pram. I really, really love this feature. Um, it's, it's an expensive stroller, yes, um, but I like the fact that it comes with the new more bassinet and that it folds down so you can, you know, store it away when not in use. But you can also stroll with a pram and I just think prams are fancy. I love strolling with, you know, a baby in a rolling bed. It's better for them anyway than being in a car seat all the time. But speaking of car seats, I know how much people love their travel systems. 
The Peg Pair Go Primo Viaggio works right on the frame with no additional adapters to turn it into a travel system if you buy that separately. Um, so really, really great option. And I want to give you one tip. To remove the bassinet, it's a lever right underneath the front here. You're going to pull it out like that. Just find that lever and that pops it right out. Then you can go ahead and put your stroller seat back on like that and then pop that up. Now, this Peg Perigo pop-up stroller, it is not cheap. It is a luxury stroller system that comes with the bassinet and the stroller seat. So it's gonna set you back $799. That's right, that is the retail price right now. But it is stocked full of luxury features and we know luxury strollers, they come with a high price tag. So that's it for me. I really love the fact that, you know, they have paid attention to detail with this one. Oh, I even forgot to tell you that underneath the canopy here, there's a little um, a hook. It's not really a hook. A, uh, a circle here that you can attach stroller toys to so it hangs in front of your baby. Again, just those great little details Peg paid attention to. You got the large basket, the ginormous canopy, you got the adjustable handle, you got the fact that it comes with a freestanding bassinet that you can remove and use in your home, and the seat you know, goes all the way up to 50 pounds, so this is something you're going to be able to use for a while. So that's it for me. Don't forget to like us on Facebook. Please like us on Facebook. And you know what? Do me a favor and just subscribe to our YouTube channel because, you know, it matters to me if you subscribe and I don't want you to miss anything because we could be talking about something great and you might miss it. So don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will talk to you next time. I'm Holly Schultz from Baby Gizmo. Bye.